What's up everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're going to focus in on Miles Coolis of the Medicine Hat Tigers, a uh, former member of the United States uh, National Team Development Program. I went on draft last year, I'm just going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, he's 94, turned 18 back in June. But uh, this year Medicine Hat, he had one highlight reel goal that was trending on Twitter for a little bit. John Buchigross was talking about it. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty good. And he's got an elite skill list that we'll talk about that as well. He's only got 16 points in 30 games with Medicine Hat. You figure a kid coming this highly touted up the development team. I'll uh, be putting together, you know, a better stat line. But, you know, um, he's, he's far from a finished product. And I think from what I've seen of him on tape, like I said, the skill set's undeniable. You can't deny his, you know, his offensive ability. This is the kid that at Shattuck St. Mary's had 58 points, 53 games, um, you know, and really did well on the on the development team the last two years. You know, offensively, the defensive li- he's still defensive liability, which you know is still hurting him. Uh, he's minus 15 on the year of Madison Hat, and was minus 19 last year on the development team in 28 games in the USHL competition. But, um, you know, I like his skill set a lot. I really think he, he's far from finished product. I think he can and will get drafted uh, this coming June. I think the pedigree of being off the development team, and he's got the bloodlines. His father, Oren, was a uh, pretty good player in the Western Hockey League and is now a TV producer and movie producer. He produced Two and a Half Men, one of my favorite shows back when uh, Charlie Sheen was on it. But, uh, you know, he's actually part of the Lightning for a little bit, too. So, you know, there you go. But, um, you know, I really think he, he can grow and develop. He's an L.A. native, and I think he represents one of those, you know, kids in that wave of talent coming out of Los Angeles the last couple of years. You know, when you look at the, the greater L.A. area with the Emerson Edoms, the Matt Edoms of the world, Rocco Grimaldi, um, you know, guys like that that have really shown that California uh, is more than beaches and bikinis, which is cool, too. Uh, but like I said, I like his game. He went to camp with the Phoenix Coyotes, or training rookie camp with the Phoenix Coyotes over the summer. Um, so he, he's... You know, on the radar, pro teams, I think he needs to improve his consistency level. That's the biggest thing. If he can find that consistency. He's not the biggest guy, 5'11", but he's, like I said, the skill set's there. If he can become a little more consistent, put stretches of games together, puts points on the board, you know. Um, I heard Tyler Rennes comparisons. He's a little bit taller than Tyler Rennes. They both played for Medicine Hat, so you know, I guess that comes with the territory. But, uh, you know, I think he'd be a, a truly a, a special player. I think he's, like I said, far from finished product. At 18, he's still got plenty of growing to do, fill out a little bit, maybe grow an inch or two. Um, but I think he can still be a pretty good player. That can be a guy that plays professional hockey for many years to come. That's all I got this episode of the Power Play of CJ Prospect Profiles on Miles Coolis of the Medicine Hat Tigers. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.